There's no good decision as it relates to this camp. I, I think it's just a what's, what's the least bad decision. Spokane Police Chief Craig Meidel talking to Krem 2 right after meeting with Sheriff Ozzy Knezovich and other city leaders as they discuss a plan to shut down the homeless camp near I-90 and Freya. Last week, the sheriff sent a letter to the Department of Transportation saying if they weren't willing to clear out their property of RVs and tents, he would. Krem 2's Kyle Simchuk is in the newsroom tonight looking into the plan and the reaction it is getting so far. Kyle? Well, the sheriff originally said the camp would be cleared out around October 14th, but as we've reported, he's agreed to extend that deadline into the first few weeks of November at the request of the mayor and other service providers who say they need more time to connect people with resources. The sheriff and Spokane's police chief say they both want this problem to be resolved without getting law enforcement involved. What will it take to shut down the homeless camp and relocate the estimated 600 people living there? That's what Sheriff Ozzy Knezovich discussed today with city leaders and law enforcement. This was our first initial strategy meeting. The sheriff is determined to take action. I really got tired of answering phone calls and attending meetings in people's houses and meeting with people and some of them being in tears because of what is happening to our city, to their neighborhood. And they felt as if they had no voice. Group assignments were outlined during today's meeting, which include resources for people living in the camp, a team to handle investigations into Jules' helping hands, and housing options. The sheriff also outlined a new timeline to clear out the camp somewhere between October 25th and the second week of November. The value statement for this group is this, to have that camp cleared out without ever having to use a law enforcement means. Is there's no good decision as it relates to this camp. I, I think it's just a what's, what's the least bad decision. And you have people on both sides of the spectrum that think, you know, the whatever the decision is, there's going to be people that are going to be unhappy. Spokane Police Chief Craig Meidel was part of today's meeting and says SPD stands ready to help. This is a crime hotspot in this area and it is impacting that community immediately around that, that camp. According to data from SPD, calls for service within a quarter mile radius of the camp have shot up 73% compared to this time last year. A good number of these are not going to take shelter. For, for whatever the reasons are, they absolutely will not take shelter. So the first thing we have to do is find out who is willing to take shelter and who is willing to go to shelter. Once the camp is cleared, Meidel says there's a chance smaller camps could pop up around the city. They will be much smaller. I, I, I promise you they will be easier to deal with. Um, and when they do pop up, we will be ready to address those. In Spokane, Kyle Simchuk, Krem 2 News.